Okay, before we go too much farther, let's go take a quick check of the, uh, the hinge. So this is the male piece. This is the female piece. It's basically gonna go like this. Okay, we've got a lock nut down here in the bottom. Hold that in place. And then basically, it's got this, this puppy like this. You can sort of see the concept. But now we got a pretty hefty duty casting in here that's gonna uh, take, take the load of trailering. And we just have the other tongue that we need to fit in here, which goes like this. And then whenever we want to go any place or whenever we want to store the boat away, it's basically this kind of maneuver and then swing that back. And uh, that's about it. So this is a class three hitch, uh, 3,500 pounds. Um, they make a 5,000 pound version as well. The uh, actual load depends on how long a, a tongue you put. This one's got, uh, I bought a 36 inch tongue for this. So uh, that's, uh, the maximum length you can get and still retain the full class three rating. So um, I think we're in good shape. You just gotta, like I said, take the uh, coupler and uh, the braking system off the old tongue and put it on the new tongue and we should be done. Almost there. So now we're ba back to taking the coupler off. I got the small breaker bar on it. <laughs> I think we're okay. That loosened up fairly easily. Okay, we're almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the next pieces on. Here you can see it. The final result, um, went ahead and uh, got everything all torqued down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to match it up to the uh, male side of the casting. Uh, and basically we just, we've already put a little kind of crease in here. Basically put the pin in and uh, instructions say to torque it down to 50 pounds. So that's what we're going to do. There we go, 50 pounds. A little bit stiff, but definitely workable. And now let's check out the pin. There we go, nice. So this is basically how it works, right? This is the towing position. You can see it's pretty solid. Uh, don't mind the banging back there. There's just some stuff rattling around in the boat. But uh, overall, it uh, looks pretty solid. And then here's the best part, of course. Once we pull out the pin, presto changeo, we'll be able to swing the tongue back like this and still get the garage door closed. So that's, that's what it's all about. Now I just got to put the coupler back on and we should be all set. Then we'll just have to rig up the safety chains, uh, do the wiring and put the jack stand back on. In fact, I may do that right now, but you don't need to see that. Uh, overall, it looks good. I'll show you the end result when we're done. So I've spared you the details of having to clamp everything back together and, and bolt uh, all the different pieces together. You can see I'm pretty much done now. Uh, I've got the tongue in place. My uh, Electrostar controller has been relocated to the tongue and plugged in. Uh, I've got the safety chains installed, the winch stand is back up, and uh, trailer jacks installed. Um, in a second, I'm going to back up and show you some of the things we had to do to get things put together. Uh, things that didn't quite fit in exactly into how the manufacturer planned them to be installed. Let's start by making a, a, doing a quick review of the final setup. So if I go from front to back, you can see the ball coupler. Uh, you can see the safety chains that are running up underneath the tongue, crossed and crossing under the tongue. Uh, we've got the uh, Electrostar brake controller bolted to the tongue as well. Uh, as you move towards the back, you can see that the safety chains are so long that we had to zip tie them up to the bottom of the tongue, otherwise they'd be dragging on the ground. 
Uh, you can also see that we've had to move the anchor point for the safety chains all the way onto the main part of the frame and lowered the hole from where we originally thought the position was going to be. And uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. Normally the wiring for this kind of a, a, a trailer tongue setup would go through the middle of the tongue and then out into the frame. But uh, the mass of wires that you need in order to hook up the electric brake controllers were big enough so that they wouldn't fit through the, um, the holes that are drilled into the, the frame, uh, the, into the tongue. So we wound up strapping them to the outside after covering them with some uh, corrugated uh, plastic tubing to dress things up a bit. It turns out that attaching the safety chain was the biggest problem we had during the installation. As you can see, uh, this final position of the safety chain is now further back on the trailer frame and uh, it's no longer in the middle of the, the frame member but down towards the lower edge and, and that's because in order to cinch the safety chain tight against the frame that final link has to be able to lay flat um, if the hole for the bolt were up in the middle of the frame member the next to the last link since it sits at a 90 degree angle to the first the, the, to the last link would keep us from being able to cinch down the bolt tightly. So uh, we decided to move the hole from the middle of a frame member down to the bottom edge. But in order to do that, we had to find a place in the uh, trailer chassis that was thin enough that we could drill through it easily without causing problems. And it turned out to be that we had to move it back about another foot or so onto the main part of the, the trailer frame. As you can see, it's pretty solid. Uh, I think it ought to work out real well. This tongue is actually a little bit shorter than the original one. Uh, the original tongue was 42 inches uh, measured from here to the front of the, the tongue. This one is 36 inches, so I'm losing about 6 inches, but I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. Um, other than that, I think uh, overall it was uh, not too bad an install. Having the holes pre-drilled from the manufacturer helped quite a bit. Uh, and uh, the only real snag that we ran into was trying to figure out where to anchor the safety chains. Uh, everything else pretty much fell into place, uh, even though this is several days later. Part of that was just because we ran out of time with uh, filming. You know, everything seems to take a lot longer when you film. Um, so uh, I'd say realistically, uh, this was probably about an eight-hour job, uh, maybe ten-hour job, uh, including uh, rearranging all the wiring and doing the, the uh, chains and things like that. So not too bad a project, and now I've got an easy way to, to get the trailer tongue back in and, and get going in the mornings without having to uh, lift a 45-pound piece of iron around at 4 a.m.